Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets, your premier source for Second Amendment news. Let's talk about Virginia. It's been a little while since I've done a Virginia video, but I tell you that a lot of has happened. Uh, they are in that special session that was brought on by King Northam, and uh, we're, we were fully anticipating hearing some of his gun control that didn't make it through uh, this past session to be reinstituted, right? Um, specifically his assault weapon ban and stuff like that. So as of yet, nothing anti-gun has happened. Uh, and I watched my, I'm a, I'm a member of the VCDL and I uh, watched the meeting last night and I, apparently they're still infighting uh, in the legislature to, to see if they're going to get paid, you know, if they're going to get a per diem because they're supposed to be on break right now. So, you know, typical politicians are worried about their pay first instead of the country first. Um, so some good things have actually come out of this. There are two pro-gun bills that I'll tell you about in a second. And then I'm going to tell you about a very uh, enthusiastic movement that's been going on in Virginia in the last uh, couple weeks. You'll remember all the videos I've done. I'll put a uh, playlist above of how bad and how rapidly uh, Virginia fell to the anti-gunners. And the snowball of terribleness that happened after that. And it was kind of like historic because Virginia was was one of those places that everybody said, it'll never happen in Virginia. It did, uh, and there are a couple other places around the country that they're going after next, but there's been a little bit of a resurgence. So there was the huge 2 way sanctuary movement across 90 plus percent of Virginia where uh, towns, counties, and even some city areas said, nope, we're not gonna pass that here. Uh, well, now that the gun control has been voted in and signed into law by King Northam, uh, the, there's a new movement that's been going on, and that is the no local gun control resolution that's been going around. And according to VCDL, I try to keep track. Uh, Phil Van Cleve is doing a hell of a job there, as are the you know, executive members there at the VCDL. Uh, I believe as of last night, the 23rd locality passed this no local gun control uh, resolution. And what this resolution is, is that, you know, similar to the 2A sanctuary, there are Area saying that even though uh, the the governor has signed a law and saying we can institute gun control, you know, crazy gun control, we're not going to do it here. So that is a good thing. I'll have a link down below if you live in Virginia, not aware of this. Uh, you just go to that link right there. It'll bring you to the VCDL's uh, page where it's just basically a fill in the blank page. You uh, put in your name and address and stuff like that, and it'll send off. A letter to your representatives and you can edit that letter too if you want to add a couple things in there it's basically just a, a stock form letter and I, I actually have a copy of the body of the text that this letter will send it'll say as a voter and constituent I urge you to introduce and support the following resolution to not pass any gun control affecting local government buildings parks recreation and community centers or permitted events including adjacent streets or affecting the legal purchase, possession, or transfer of firearms or ammunition, even though a new state law allows for such ordinances. And a few areas have enacted gun control like that. So uh, there is a movement to uh, have the localities pledge that they won't do that, which I believe is, is a good move because a lot of places came out and said, hey, we're gonna declare ourselves a Second Amendment sanctuary, but now that the laws are available, now's the time to check them and make sure you check them to have them follow up on their pledge. Uh, and if you're wondering how many places said they were a Second Amendment sanctuary, again, thanks to VCDL, I have the numbers, uh, there were a total of 118 uh, areas, and that was seven cities, 78 counties, 33 towns. An additional 31 uh, are now constitutional sanctuaries, nine cities, 13 counties, nine towns. And at least 44 government bodies that said didn't say anything, so they're gonna say, whatever they want to say because they're probably inundated with Northam's cronies and Bloomberg's puppets. Uh, that was 21 cities, four counties, and four towns. If you want a list of those, they're all on the VCDL webpage. Uh, if you're not a member and you live in Virginia, it's imperative that you all join. Trust me, I'm a member. I'm very satisfied with what they're doing to help your state watching from afar. Uh, and uh, they, should be, uh, they should be supported by those people who are, you know, gun owners or Second Amendment lovers or constitutionalists, however you want to word it, if you believe in the founding document and our right to protect ourselves, you should be helping the VCDL fight and uh, takes membership. I'll have that link down below. Uh, I get nothing from it other than a group that I'm a member of gets a little stronger with each, each and every membership. So let's talk about the two bills that are in consideration right now that are pro-gun. 
I'll give you a quick little excerpt, and if you want more information down below, I'll have the links to both of these bills. The first one is SB5041, and what that does is currently there is uh, an option for online training for the concealed carry permit, and this bill looks to extend that an additional year uh, because of the implications of COVID and everybody shutting down. And the second one is HB5020, and what 5020 would do would be to exempt concealed handgun permit holders from local gun control. So it'd be interesting to see how that fares out in this session. And I, I fully believe we should be constitutional carry across the board, uh, but as somebody who lives in a state that has permitting you know, for firearms, I believe that if, if you have to, if you have to have a permit, then this should make you uh, exempt from the BS, right? Because you have to prove that you're as pure as the undriven snow to get these permits from from loca you know, localities and municipalities and, and, and the government. Uh, so if you are proven to be an exemplary candidate to own a firearm and carry a firearm, then why can't you step foot onto a public park with it on? It makes absolutely no sense, this gun control that's been going through, not only in Virginia, but nationwide. Uh, so this bill is something to watch, and I'll keep my eye on that. And as things progress, keep your eyes and ears here, as well as to the VCDL uh, for more information, because it's going to start happening rapid. But that is the update from Virginia. Hat is off to the VCDL and the work that you all are doing, Phil. Keep up the hard work. I am Jared, the humble host of Guns and Gadgets. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it way more than you know. And until we see each other again, be safe. Stay vigilant and carry a weapon. Take care, everybody.